Hi there Aquarius, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your love reading for February 2022. This reading is really intended for someone specifically on your mind, okay? So it's going to be a reading about how they feel about you, how you feel about them, and then the combined energy of you both, all right? And also stay tuned for other love readings during the month, um, ones that focus more on singles if that's an energy you're looking for. So just keep an eye on that on the page itself okay and if you're new to here and feel guided go ahead and hit subscribe make sure you hit that bell twice this way you get all notifications out there Aquarius and a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers just a reminder guys I do have a membership a brand spanking new membership area that is on my website would love to have you there it's as small as a fee is five dollars the highest one is ten dollars a month and it's access to all readings all extended readings you don't just get one, you get them all for the month back there, including the daily readings. All right, let's get started, Aquarius. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have in love for Aquarius. How does Aquarius feel about the person on their mind? <clears throat> and how does the person on Aquarius's mind feel about them? And what is the combined energy of these two, Spirit? What is the combined energy of these two? Reminder, guys, these are general readings, so do not force anything to fit, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest. And if it makes more sense on the other side, you can go ahead and flip it. Mm. Well, let's start with the middle energy here, okay, Aquarius? We're starting off with rest and relaxation is essential, we all have a fundamental need to take a break, okay? Definitely separation between the two of you. But it's also I'm feeling this need to contemplate, to rejuvenate, and to not, I keep hearing, overreact. Interesting. On your side, we have curiouser and curiouser, discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity, okay? Definitely, <laughs> definitely spying. I mean, you're watching Tarot right now. So I feel this energy of you being curious about the whereabouts of this significant person. Um, this person on your mind has shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this, okay? There's something in this level too where this person really sees your worth, okay? They may not feel good enough for you, Aquarius, okay? There's also showing me here with this palette this creativity is maybe you're bur buried yourself into work. I feel like I'm talking to an Aquarius out there who may be an artist or at least gets into their craft really specifically loves their job kind of energy that I'm feeling here. I feel this energy of remorse though and we haven't even gotten into tarot cards but the idea of the fact that this is the rest and re relaxation card this is usually the four swords energy that I'm feeling I feel like there has been a break between the two of you, okay? <clears throat> it, this does not feel like a brand spanking relationship. It could have been a relationship that never really got started, false hopes. But there's something where somebody is remorse or looking at things as though, wow, I feel like I keep hearing you're the one that got away. <clears throat> but this person is very different than you curiouser and curiouser discovery and inqu inquiry weirdness curiosity this person may be a little bit outside of the norm of conformity <laughs> maybe a little bit of an odd couple i'm hearing let's see let's see what we have here what the throw cards have to say here we go on your side we have four of wands justice interesting and the king of wands reversed on your person's side we have six of cups the sun reversed and the two of swords reversed did you cut this individual out here Aquarius the combined energy is the ten of pentacles <clears throat> yeah the hangman the king of cups and the six of wands reversed so at one point you guys definitely wore a unit may have lived with each other and i i feel strongly that this is this was a relationship where you guys had a strong bond here we're going to start off with that 
middle energy here with the Ten of Pentacles. Could have children with this individual, but this is usually that home life. It's that security, building something with someone. All right, and they're showing me here specifically, and we're using the friends cards, but there's something about it being displayed. You guys may have been the perfect couple, the perfect family, but truth of the matter, what is behind closed doors is that you felt very stagnant. You felt like this relationship wasn't going anywhere. Um, some of you felt very confined being in this relationship. Interesting. Underneath the hangman, we have the king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Could have been dealing with somebody who wasn't very open with their emotions, who's reversed. When the king is reversed, <clears throat> it's, it's somebody who can get very emotional, maybe have emotional outburst. But it feels like there's a strong friend bond here, or there was, and this relationship may have started off as friends. But there's something in this level where somebody got too over-emotional. They're invested in their emotions, and it actually really felt imbalanced. And the fact that we have six of wands here, it meant that this connection really had no way of taking off, okay? There was no true justice in this connection here or victory in that level. It almost felt like it was a performance. I keep hearing a performance of some level here. You felt like you were performing with this individual? Interesting. I think that you felt like you were put on a show. You did. You felt like there was a show going on. That there wasn't really a happy home life. It just I keep hearing behind the doors, it felt stagnant. This individual may got uh, been too comfortable. I hear comfortable in their ways. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> now on your side, we have the four of wands. So there it feels like that family connection. I do feel like at one point you really were willing to have it all with this individual okay union celebration could have been married to them um especially with the justice libra card here it felt like a strong high commitment but the idea of the king of wands again <clears throat> aries leo sagittarius energy here the king of wands was reversed we did have two kings here reversed i don't feel like you're dealing with two different people i think you're dealing with somebody who may have if they don't have fire and water in their chart, they definitely have the energy of it. But we have somebody here who gets over emotional and they have major anger issues, okay? This person overreacts, all right? Um, feels very imbalanced with them reversed. Um, this is somebody who's all in the actions for them their own way. Like, I feel like it's their way or the highway, I'm hearing, all right? their way or the highway. So I do feel like at one point you had a commit with, with this individual, but what you were demanding was fairness of some way, shape or form. You did have a contract or you do have a contract with this individual. Now on your person side, we have that six of cups energy. I do feel this person misses you terribly, misses that friendship, misses that connection. Um, there's something in the lines here too with the sun energy, the Leo sun, the energy is that this person never really showcased how much you meant to them. All right. Um, you were basically more, I keep hearing you were definitely, you were definitely in this person's mind and they definitely have a different love language than you Aquarius, but they have quite a clarity now with the two of swords where they never really put you in the forefront, never put you first. Um, always put you in the crossroads. I just feel like this individual got comfortable got com comfortable and placent with doing nothing. It was like overall not spicing anything up. It was just like you felt stuck, okay? Um, <clears throat> but they have clarity now, and they, they focus definitely with the Six of Cups because the Six of Cups energy is about the past. I feel like they focus a lot about the past. They focus about the connection, um, they feel like they put offers here. You see how someone has flowers here and they're handing it over to Phoebe. We're using the friends cards, by the way. It feels to me that this connection of like, well, I put the work in. I don't understand how you couldn't have been happy. And that's what I feel with this individual. They just don't understand that you couldn't be happy. But the, I, I'm feeling your energy here, Aquarius, that... You wanted more in this relationship. You didn't want to just sit home and live a mundane life. I keep hearing it was too, like the rest and rejuvenation is like, I had enough of this. I've been resting and rejuvenating on my own, but I don't want to overreact on this individual. Interesting. 
Let's see what the um, let's see what the vice versa cards say on the outcome of this though, because I feel like your person here is definitely thinking about you heavily, but they're not in the energy of um, stepping forward in any level. <clears throat> Could be at a distance with this individual. We have the two of wands, the eight of swords, the nine of wands, and the death. So definitely something that had ended with this connection here, okay? Like I said, could could have um, you have definitely have options. I feel for your energy, because this is the combined energy of you both, you're looking out for something brighter in the future, may taking actions just to see or set your life up. I hear for many of you, Aquarius, you're focused on your career more you are, than you are in a relationship. You found relationships to be very complacent. You weren't very happy in them. I'm talking to an Aquarius here who wants adventure, who likes to travel. And I feel like there's something in regards to maybe you move far from this individual or you moved out of state. But this person, I don't feel is a hop, skip and a, a away from you, okay? I feel like they're a little bit further out. But they're definitely keeping an eye on you. They definitely have a higher perception, but they know specifically you are extremely guarded, okay? You're extremely guarded. And they understand that the death here that is coming in place with the Scorpio energy, and I'm feeling really strongly here for you, Aquarius, this means that the ending that's coming about is that you're often wonder if this individual has had the ability to move on. Well, I don't feel they have. We can look at that most certainly in the extended if you feel guided to do so. In the extended, we're going to take a look at this person, what they want to say to you. Um, along with their next steps or next actions and some of their obstacles that are in their way um, in order to communicate with you. But this person is definitely heavily on on uh, your, they're on their mind for you. Um, and I think that you wonder about them too, or you wouldn't be here for this reading at all. Anyway, that's what I got for you, Aquarius. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, if you want to get the extended, all you have to do is become a member of my website. All of that information is in the description box below on harmoniafriends.com. All right, and I will see you there. Take care.